Look at my baby. Ah, what is going on, you guys? Welcome back to another video. Guys, it has been such a freaking long time. A lot of people have been flooding my DMs asking why I haven't posted it. Honestly, I, I've been just, I've been busy, guys. I've been sleeping on it. I've been sleeping on it so badly. But we're back on the guide, and today we have a new video, something that I've actually been wanting to do for such a long time. And if you haven't been able to tell from the thumbnail or the title, we are slapping on some new tires on the Audi, and it is arguably the best mud tire you can get for your four-wheeler. What am I talking about? Definitely not these cryptids. I'm talking about Super ATV Assassinators, guys. I would say I would drop a picture up for the people that don't know what they look like, but honestly, everybody knows what they look like, and arguably, like I said, to a lot of people, it's the absolute best mud tire that you can slap on your four-wheeler. Now, I've actually been trying to get my hands on a set of these tires for quite a while, and I've actually reached out to Super ATV, and um, they were actually more than willing to work with me. The only problem is the particular size and tire that I want isn't shipping out and, until I think mid or end of August, which it's a, it's a good bit from now. So we're taking these cryptids off, which don't get me wrong, they're not a bad tire. These are 30 inch cryptids, or well, so the tire size claims, but they actually measure up. Actually, we have a tape measure right here. All right, all right, so from the floor to the center, if you guys can tell, I mean, it's like 27 and a half. They're not even close to 30s. And according to all the forums, assassinators actually measure true to size or a little bit bigger than stated. So it's gonna be a little bit taller. We're gonna have a good amount of more ground clearance. So no shame to these tires, I actually did really, really good in all kinds of terrain, but it is time to upgrade. So we've been on the hunt, we finally managed to find a set of assassinators. I can't tell you the size quite just yet, but we found a set of assassinators that have been on one ride. The guy said, no, they're too heavy, I'm gonna just end up breaking my machine. So that guy ended up trading those assassinators to my buddy that had some 31 inch XM310s, and you know, he knew that I was looking for a set, so he said, hey, I was selling my XM310s, I traded them for assassinators, would you want those? I said, heck yeah, I want them. So the guy that actually has them is my buddy with the other 21 Outlander on 32 assassinators. So without further delay, we're gonna take off these tires, mount them in the back of my truck, take them to his house, cause he actually has a tire machine, and you know, he's gonna do us a solid, so. All right, all right, so right quick, right quick. I know I've weighed these before, but just for the sake of this video, we're gonna weigh them again, get a before and after. We have a height before, and we're gonna have a height afterwards with the new wheels, as well as weight comparison. I think it's about 50 pounds. Huh. All right, 52, nice. I have a pretty strong feeling that these assassinators are gonna be a lot heavier, and we might, be breaking some things. We have the 850 on jack stands right now in hoverboard mode. But we're gonna ride over to my buddy's house, like I said, get these things swapped, come back, and uh, the Audi should be looking a little bit different. The next day. All right, welcome back, you guys. It is obviously the next day. It got too dark yesterday. The video quality just wasn't there, so I decided to just cut it there. Not even do an outro, it was too dark. <laughs> All right, so my buddy's over there in the process of changing out the tires, but man. <laughs> I was like, dude, I gotta, I gotta put your rigs in the video, man. This, so, this is his dad's. He's got a 21 Renegade on 34 Assassinators. Man, this thing looks so freaking good. I just hate that the sun's going down. And I can't get you guys a really good view of it, but they're both on floorboards. This one's on 34 Assassinators. This is his on 32 Assassinators. And honestly, whoo, that thing looks so good, man. He's got, him and his dad have that perfect duo. Eventually, I'm pretty sure I would like to step up to some 32s. And you can see even with floorboards, I mean, you have plenty of space with those 32s, but 
Man, does that look good. And to think people actually have lots of trouble trying to find Renegades or, you know, Outlanders, new 2021s, and it just, they got lucky him and his dad were able to get the matching set, man. It looks so freaking good. And I just decided to pick it up today. Check these babies out. I don't know if you can tell or not, but they are so much bigger than the cryptids, and they look so meaty. Just look, look at these knobs. It's literally bigger than my thumb versus this one's tiny. All right, so I've actually haven't even put them on the Audi, haven't even test fit them, haven't even looked at them with them on, nothing like that. I've been waiting for you guys impatiently, and before we actually even get them on, we have to get a weight test on them, compare them to the cryptids. The cryptids were 52 pounds with the OEM XMR wheels. Now, let's put these on the scale. Let's see what they're weighing in at. All right, so if we grab this big, <laughs> Bad girl, bring her over to the scale. Six, oh well, it's moving too much. All right, well, let's go with 62 pounds. So these were 52, these are exactly 10 pounds heavier a piece. Where I mean, it's, it's obviously heavier, but we're adding a total about 40 pounds total of just tire tread to the four wheeler. All right, now for the height test. If you remember, the crypt is weighed in at 27 and a half inches tall. They claim to be 30 inch cryptids, but they obviously run way smaller. But as for these, put a block on top, kind of just, you know, to give us a very, very good idea of how tall these puppies are. And check that out, guys. These are 29 and a half inch cryptids. And no lie, it's almost 30 in 31 inches tall it's right above 30 and a half inches tall so if you really think about it it is roughly an estimate of three inches taller than the cryptid so believe it or not we are doing a very big jump and a pretty decent upgrade if you ask me so now the question is will the 29 and a half inch assassinators fit on factory XMR OEM floorboards I feel like it's gonna maybe slightly rub in the corner because I have seen people have trouble with that. But, I don't know, maybe being a 2021 model might be a little bit different, but we won't know unless we try it out. So, without further ado, let's slap these bad girls on. We're gonna get started on the fronts because I know the fronts for a fact will clear. The only thing I'm worried about, like I stated, is the rear. So, let's get these things on. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> 10 pounds difference is pretty drastic. I mean, these things are heavy. And there's the first one. Oh my God, that is one meaty girl. I mean, even for the front, you have clearance, but it's nothing like that great. Oh my God. Just look at this angle right here, look at this angle. Oh, that looks so good. I'm gonna get the other front one on and we're gonna get started on the rear. All right. So, oh, I think, it, I think it's gonna fit. Oh, I think it fits just fine. You got about a, a finger of width right here. I think we're in the clear. One, two, three. Oh my gosh, look how close it is. But honestly, it makes me so happy that it fits. Look, look at that. That's how much clearance we have. And it goes honestly right down the middle of this canal. Actually, I think, I think we might have some troubles. I think that might be right. I think it might rub right there. We can't move the tire. Let me see if I put it in a neutral, if we can see. All right. Oh my God. The rub is so minimal. Look, no rub. And it rubs. It rubs right here, guys. Right in the middle of the left side of the tire. It rubs right on that corner. Oh my God. How much PSI do these have? Because these are a little bit taller than 29 and a half. They might have too much PSI. Let me see. All right, we have the reader and it might be broken. It's saying it has not even one PSI, that can't be right. The front, huh, the 
front says it has 10. Oh no, it might be right. It has one PSI. Dang, that's upsetting. We might need like an inch spacer to get it away from that edge right there. You see where you see where it touches that impact. See no touch, 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 touch. Man, spoke too soon. But 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 now that we have it on all four or well, all three of them at least. Look at that side view. Oh my god, that looks good. But hey, we have them on. I'm gonna put the last fourth one on and we're gonna take it outside so we can get a better view. I'm tired of having it in the garage. I wanna go for a little small rip ski and see how they feel on these naders. Cause if I'm being honest with you, I don't think it's gonna be such a smooth ride. All right, so here it is on all four. No jack stands anymore. It's literally sitting on all four. Turn on the front RJWC halos for you guys. And I'm very happy about it because it looks so good. I'm just, I'm just a little upset that it rubs right there. But other than that, man, not RGWC Nudorino tail lights, but I'm just, I'm so upset that everything worked out almost 100%. But we're gonna take it for a small little rip, just go up and down the road one time. Let's start it up. Put on my helmet with the GoPro, give you guys a first person, tell you what it feels like, how it rides, and we'll just go over it real quickly. All right, we're on the GoPro now. The first rip on them, like I said, I've never, I've, I've actually never ripped on Assassinators. Actually, one time I did, but that was on sand. I've never ripped them on actual, you know, pavement. Can you even feel if it's rubbing? Oh, it's not rubbing! It's not rubbing! It's not rubbing! At least not on this side, it's not. Oh, let's go! All right, so first impression, would you guys believe me if I told you these things actually ride really, really good? It's not even that bad. Let's see, it's low speeds. Oh, never mind. Uh, I think if you're going five or under, it is a little, it is a little off. But other than that, they're not that bad. Yo, know, even for 30 inch assassinators that are heavy, they pull really good. Let's see, let's see, let's uh let's do a wide open throttle and we'll do it from 20. And go. 30, 40, 50. Like nothing man. This thing has so much power. Which shout out and thank you to that Dino Jet Tune. I mean, just really wakens this thing up. If you have been thinking or looking to get a tune for your four, you cannot go wrong with Dino Jet. My question is if this thing will still willy with these big, fat, heavy boys. All right, let me turn around. All right. I hate to do it to the rear tires because I mean, like I said, these tires have only been on one ride and you can still see the nipples on these tires, but. All right, say bye to the nipples. Whoa. I almost didn't want to pick up. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. Wow. It is honestly just spinning these things. It's not even grabbing traction. It has so much little tread to grab. It's just not grabbing any traction. Let's do it on grass. I'm pretty sure it'll, it'll pick here. It should have. It should pick up here. All right, let's go. Yeah. The thing with the asphalt, I mean, it, it just has little to no tread to grab and hook it just slides it just slips and slides not like side to side as for grass as you guys just saw it it still grabs it still wheelies like 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 nothing man let's do one more and let's uh let's try to get it onto the road we'll, we'll point in this direction all right let's go Woo! oh man it it still pulls just fine in low and high so far like I said, we do have to definitely test these tires out. We are riding this weekend. I'm gonna be riding with Brayden, not too sure where, but as soon as I know, I will be dro dropping that down on my Instagram. So if you guys do not follow me, to stay tuned to where we're riding for all the latest news, go check it out, follow it, Foxy 6.7, leave it up on the screen and down in the description. But guys, check those puppies out. 
29 and a half inch skinnies. I really wanted to go with skinnies instead of wides. And they're pizza cutters, boys, but I like them so much. All right. So like I mentioned, we're riding this weekend. I'm so excited. I want to put these to the test. I have so much more coming to the four wheeler. So if you are a new subscriber, oh, my tape measure. Let me pick that up. Ah, does it still work? There we go. Like I said, we have so much more still coming for the A50 build. This is not the end of it. I mean, eventually I would like to do floorboards and even bigger wheels and tires. But for now, as of now, this should work, guys. But we're going to end off the video, guys. Like I said, I have been sleeping on these videos really, really bad, man. I haven't pumped out videos and I think, I think it's been like two weeks, two solid weeks. So we definitely have to start shooting more and like i said just wait we're riding this weekend and we're definitely gonna put these to the test so if you would like to see that and if you aren't subscribed yet do yourself a solid do me a solid please like subscribe comment all that good stuff you guys thank you guys so much for watching and i will catch you boys on the next one peace